Hey guys, where's Mr. S? I don't know, he wasn't here when I came in. Well, don't we have a sub or something? That's what I thought too, but there's nobody here. Tyler ran off to try and find someone a few minutes ago. Oh, there you are. Did you find anyone? No, it's really weird. I have no idea. No one in the office is talking about Mr. S at all. That's dumb. We all remember him. Yeah, let's go try to find him. Okay. So, I mean, what should we do, you guys? If Mr. S isn't here, then I have no idea what to do about the problem. I know. I know. I don't want to fail physics. Hey, um, do you have any idea where Mr. Sokolowski is? Um, the physics teacher? He's got glasses. He's tall. That's really weird. Okay, never mind that. That is so strange. Mr. S? Mr. S? We should really find Sloan and Tyler. I know, this whole thing with him missing is kind of Oh, what is this? Magnets. That, is that Mr. S's signature? Yeah, I think it is. What, what do you think that means? I don't know, maybe he wants us to learn about magnetism. Maybe so. I guess we should show this to someone. Sounds good. Alright. Oh, there you are. We found this note on the ground with Mr. S's signature. Magnets? Yeah, what do you think it means? Well, I guess that's our next subject, but what does he want us to do? Just study by ourselves? I don't know how we can do that by ourselves. Maybe we should go around and ask teachers about magnetism. I guess that works. We can't just do it on our own. Okay, let's go find Salal okay. and do that. I'll take Salal. You guys go ahead. Awesome. You guys go cool. Parsons? Sure. Parsons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. Hi. Could we talk to you for a minute? Sure. Come on in. Hey, uh, we need to ask you a few questions about magnetism. Um, All right. Well, how can I help you? Is there anything you could tell us about how magnets interact? Um, yeah. Uh, did you know they have poles? <laughs> North and South Poles? Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I did. Like, and the planet's magnet? So you know North is South, South is North. Wait, what? Yeah, it's the basics. Opposites attract. So the Earth's North Pole is actually the South Pole magnetically. And the flow of magnetism creates the magnetic field lines like this. Sure. Yeah, thank Come you. Come on in anytime. Yeah. Toodles. Now. Hey, Dr. Mecca, could we ask you a couple of questions about magnetism? Hey, Megan, sure. I don't know, but I think you may want to ask Mr. Sokolowski because he's got physics swag. Yeah, see, that's the thing. He seems to have gone missing. Do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I don't know. But I guess I can help. Well, you guys know how to tell what the direction of the magnetic field is, right? Um, no. How do you do that? You put the current through a wire. If you hold the wire with your right hand and keep your thumb pointed toward the conventional current, your fingers will circle the wire. The direction your fingers are pointing is the direction of the magnetic field. Oh, weird. So that always works? Is that like a rule or something that everyone knows? Yes, silly kids. It's called the first right-hand rule. You kids should look it up. Thanks, Dr. Mecca. Action. Anytime, kids. My door is always open if you have any questions.
I need to get to Miss Parsons. Oh, hey, Miss Parsons. Hi, Salal. What do you need? Who's this? Hey, I'm Tyler. Um, would it be okay if we asked you a few questions? We're doing a project. No problem. What, what do you want to know about? Well, I mean, is there anything you can tell us as we just started learning about magnetism? Well, yeah. Electromagnets are pretty important, and like solenoid and things like that. So what? Solenoid. Run electricity through it, and poof, magnet. Well, how does that work? I mean, if you take a wire, wrap it around some metal, you can find the polarity of the electromagnet that you just made. Oh, swag. But how do you do that? First, I grab a textbook, but uh, I gotta go, you guys. Soccer game. Good luck. Anything else? Just ask my son. All right. Thanks, Ms. No. Parsons. Hey, Mr. Pepper. Can you tell us something about magnetism? Well, what do you want? Um, we are just wondering if you could tell us anything you know about magnets. Well, motors use magnets. No way! Tell us more. Well, if you put a magnet on an axle and place it within a field magnet, the magnet will turn until it lines up with the poles of the field magnet. The north pole of the magnet will be attracted to the south pole of the field magnet, so it will turn. But once the magnet turns so that its poles are facing the opposite poles of the field magnet, wouldn't it just come to a stop? Well, yeah. Well, don't you need the magnet to keep spinning so that the motor keeps going? Yeah, you need to find a way to make the magnet continue to spin, so you actually have to flip its magnetic fields. Oh, wait, how do you do that? Well, being a biology teacher, I actually have no idea, so you're going to have to look it up yourselves, and what's great is that Google's a wonderful thing. All right, thanks. Hey, Mr. Harris, um, do you have any idea where so going? I haven't seen him. Why? Um, we're doing a project. Can you tell us anything about magnets? Tell you anything you need to know. Well, Mr. Pepper kind of uh, told us a little bit about motors. Is, it didn't really make much sense to me. Is there anything else you can tell us? Well, your first mistake was talking to Pepper about anything related to physics. Oh, no! But, if you want to know about generators, sure. They're similar to motors, except they work the opposite way. Instead of having a current go through the wire, you move the wire in the magnetic field to generate the current. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, is there any other way you can relate that to magnets at all? Well, you generally have permanent magnets around the coil of wire, and so you have some mechanical force that actually turns that coil. And so whether it might be a wind turbine or water or something that turns that coil inside the magnetic field, and so as the electrons are inside that changing magnetic field, they have that force acting on them that pushes them through the wire. It's pretty common too. You can use it in almost anything today. They do. They, they use them. That's how we get our electricity all across the country. That's how they, they now use wind power with the, the turbines. They use it in dams all over the place. It just works the same way? All of, all of them use electromagnetism. Oh, OK. Awesome. Thank you. Swag. Have a good day, guys. Oh, hey, did you guys find anything? Um, a little bit. We talked to um, Canon and Mecca, but we're not understanding much. Are you getting anything? Well, so I'm still trying to get some more data, but um, so far, it's been kind of tough trying to put all this stuff together by myself. It doesn't really make sense. I guess we should really start researching them around. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we could just gather up all the things we've got from teachers and put something together. I'm trying to make sense of it. Pretty yeah. Much. Use Google, like Pepper said. Right. There's a lot. Um, would you guys mind go finding Sual, by the way? I told you he's still researching. Uh, it just might be better if he was here for this. Yeah. All right, all right, all right keep researching. Good, thanks. So I get it. When an electromagnet's in a field magnet and it's on an axle, 
the two points on it, the commutator and the brushes, um, actually switch the polarity, allowing it to spin. Okay. Oh my gosh! What? I get when Miss Parsons was talking to Boot. She was talking about solenoids. They're a wire with a series of loops around it. And they have a magnetic field just like that of a permanent magnet. You wrap your fingers around the solenoid in the direction of the conventional current. And whichever way your thumb is pointing is the North Pole. Swap. Oh my gosh! What? I also get what Mr. Harris was ranting about. Really? He was talking about generators generating electricity by taking mechanical energy and converting it to electrical energy. The idea behind a generator that allows it to work is the fact that any charge moving through a magnetic field experiences force. If the charge is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field, then that force does work. And work per charge is voltage. Now I have to go. My people need me. Oh wait, before I go, there's a third right hand rule. It says that when you have your hands out, your right hand out like this, uh, and if uh, your fingers point in the direction of the magnetic field, your, your thumb uh, points to the direction of the current in the wire, then your palm will be facing the direction of the force acting on that wire. Oh, okay. Now I gotta go. I get it. What? So, magnetic flux is just the amount of field lines. Like, I kept seeing that everywhere and I didn't understand what it meant. It all makes sense. So the magnetic field lines come out of the north end of the magnet and they go towards the south end of the magnet. And so it's the same thing with the earth. It goes from north to south. And the closer together the lines are, the stronger the magnetic field is, which is why it's stronger at the poles. Yes. Because they go like that, and then they get closer together at the poles. It all makes sense now. I thought this canon was just crazy. <laughs> nice. Oh, Megan, I understand what Dr. Mecca was talking about. Really? Yeah, you know he's talking about the, the first right-hand rule? It means that if you have a wire or current going through it this way, the magnetic field runs in a plane that's perpendicular to the wire. Perpendicular? Perpendicular, meaning it circles around it in a plane that's perpendicular to the wire. You can find the direction of this perpendicular magnetic field by using the first right-hand rule, where you hold the wire in your right hand and your thumb points in the direction of the current. Your fingers will wrap around in the direction of the magnetic field. Now if you have two wires next to each other and their magnetic fields are wrapping around in the same direction, they would be attracted to each other. But if they're going opposite directions, they will repel. Also, whenever you put current through into a magnetic field, a force is exerted on it. And you can calculate this force by using the formula. The force on the current equals the current times the length of the wire times the strength of the magnetic field also times the, um, the angle, angle relative to the magnetic field. Well, that makes sense. But the formula I like to use is something like this. It's like FB equals QVB sine theta. So the force equals the charge times the velocity times the strength of the magnetic field. Yeah, exactly. And then and also then times the, the sine the angle of the angle well, to Yes. Exactly. Well, that is also a very useful. They both work depending on what information you have, yes. whether or not you have the velocity. Awesome. I think we figured it out. I think we did. We're done. Woo! <laughs> but where's Mr. S? Congratulations, guys. You've passed the true test, finding the knowledge for yourself. Yes! Mm -hmm.